Commitment is a 1962 essay written by a German philosopher, sociologist and composer Theodor Adorno. In this essay, Adorno discusses the relationship between art and politics. Adorno wants to find out what kind of art could potentially bring about political or social change. For the most part, this essay is a critique of Sartre and his idea of the committed art. Sartre in his 1948 essay, What is Literature, argued that artists should commit themselves to a political cause. Sartre didn't think that art should be kept out of politics. To clarify, Sartre didn't go as far as to say that art should be tendentious or propagandist. He simply thought that art should arouse the free choice of the agent or the spectator. In other words, Sartre claimed that art should confront power structures by way of commitment to a cause. Sartre wrote, The writer has chosen to reveal the world and particularly to reveal men to other men so that the latter may assume full responsibility before the object which does been laid bare. This means that an artist should take full responsibility over his or her art and the way it speaks to other people or the political community. Adorno, on the other hand, is critical of the idea of committed art because, in his opinion, committed art often preaches to the converted. In order to avoid preaching to the converted, art should instead be autonomous, according to Adorno. Well, what is an autonomous work of art? First of all, autonomous art is that which does not carry an overtly political message. In addition, Autonomous art is that which resists short-sighted commentary of socio-political events. The idea of autonomous art goes back to the philosopher Immanuel Kant, who claimed that there is a kind of purposiveness in the work of art. Purposiveness being the way in which a work of art is sufficient unto itself. Hence, Adorno is arguing for a work of art that is independent from other institutions within the society. The autonomous work of art does not serve an economic, political, religious, or academic purpose. It simply benefits from its own complexity and profoundness. The autonomy of art acts as a form of resistance to society in and of itself. Autonomous art both affirms and criticizes the society to which it belongs. For example, Adorno thinks that the Irish playwright Samuel Beckett, as an uncommitted writer, accomplishes more than any committed writer ever could. Samuel Beckett employs various literary forms that force us to experience aesthetic catharsis. However, he accomplishes this without committing himself to an overt political or social cause. Autonomous art is that which critiques the society from the outside, it allows people to make up their own minds, and it fosters aesthetic contemplation. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. Also, let me know what you review next.